guys, it's Lindasha. And if you've seen the title of this video, then you know I'm sort of switching and pivoting about some of the topics that I've generally talked about. Today we're going to talk about, yes, money. And the theme of my channel, of course, is living out your best life and how do you do that. And one of the things that you can't get around, especially in America, is what do we do about money and how do I like practically manage and use it? For many of us, we never received a formal financial education and we can start our lives and have several jobs and still deal with issues like overwhelming debt or not being able to pay your bills, living from paycheck to paycheck, regardless of how much you make. And I know for me, when I began really learning about money, I didn't have any physical person in my life that I could reach out to and say, hey, can you teach me fully about these principles and fully about how money works? My mother instilled one very good and big principle in my life, which was about saving. But outside of that, when it was time to grow <clears throat> a little bit further and how do I manage business finances and a few other things, I had to find myself turning to various books and other individuals to help guide my education. And I think that it's important. No one person, no two people, your parents alone really can't help you to manage this big area of your life and honestly if, if we're all truly honest at the end of the day this area can derail any efforts that you have to live out your best life so I'm doing a starter video if some of you are further along in your financial journey then you know if you can vouch for some of these books please do but it this is for individuals who are just like I don't even know where to start and no matter how old you are um, no matter where you are in your financial journey, I believe that these books can really help sort of set the framework for how you should view money and how you can get a better handle on this issue that can derail us as we're trying to live out our best lives. So before I give you guys the books, I just wanted to make two disclaimers. The first one is, you know, my only goal with this video is to introduce you to some of the books that have really been great starters for me when I was getting started with uh, learning more about finances and how to manage my finances. I know that everybody's mindset about money is everywhere. Some people believe money is not good and you shouldn't use it and it's not, you know, there's a spiritual concern with it. Others think that money is the way out of everything and you should always have your money. And no matter where you fall on the spectrum, I just want you to know while I love a great and spirited discussion, that's not my goal here. My goal is just to introduce you to resources that can help you manage this thing called money. We deal with it all the time to manage that better. My second disclaimer is that money is not the only resource that you manage. In my life is actually probably like fourth in terms of priority. Um, for me, the number one resource that I manage is my time because I can't get it back. Um, out of after that it would be my body because this is the only body that I have if it shuts down I couldn't do any of the things that I'm doing now so your health and your body are very important to manage and number three as I get older my energy because there are so many things that can drain your energy you have to always be aware of putting that to use to something profitable so while money may be number four on my list it is something that is extremely important and it's probably one of the ones that you know you least interact with as it relates to um, people telling you how to manage it properly so for the first book the first book i'm going to introduce you guys to or mention is the richest man in babylon and this book is a book of basically parables so if you're looking for a read whereby you're like when dash i don't want anything technical i'm not going to recommend anything technical in this particular video but the richest man in babylon puts it in straight example form straight um just here are some scenarios and you're able to pull out the principles that really matter to you the most um, i would say what it <clears throat> what the richest man in babylon did for me the title is kind of funky for some maybe but at the end of the day it allowed for me to see how to put how these principles play out in uh, a real life 
story or real life themes. And so there are individuals and there are people and there are characters and there are scenarios. And of course it's set in old ancient Babylon. And I just love the fact that I didn't have to work too hard to get the message. So the second book I wanted to introduce, introduce you guys to is The Millionaire Next Door. And I like The Millionaire Next Door because it goes into all of the different scenarios that you find yourself in as it relates to your finances, whether it's buying a car or buying a house or all sorts of topics that, you know, you'll sit back and you'll be like, what should I do? If I know I'm looking to buy a car, you know, how is it, how do people who have been able to keep wealth and acquire wealth approach this subject? And they have done studies over millionaires. I mean, it's just galore. And if you've read the book, you know, it's a New York times bestseller and any, almost any topic I think you could think about, if you want to know how to approach it as an individual, who's really trying to build wealth and grow your financial resources, this book really allows you to see into the mindsets of individuals who are, who are serious about managing this particular resource. Well, and that's what I love most about the book. The third book I'm going to introduce you guys to is very tiny and it's called managing oneself by peter drucker and i know you may think well Dasha, what does this have to do about money and managing financial resources and truly growing you know your ability to steward over this unique resource everybody's relationship with money is different and you really have to know you in order to understand where you are in your finances and why you're making certain decisions that you're making managing oneself is about the principles that all of us should think about when we're looking at how to deal with ourselves because at the end of the day you know whether you swipe your debit card or whether you're spending cash or you're swiping credit cards whatever you're spending them on is about your own unique desires your own unique wants and how do you take those temporary desires and make sure that you're not giving them just to the things that you need today, but you're planning for your life all around and managing oneself sort of breaks up all of the different ways and, and all of the different thought processes that you should use when you're managing your day to day life. And in my opinion, that also includes your money. So Peter Drucker does not speak uniquely about money, but he talks about just in general, how do I manage myself and how you use money will increase the better you are at managing what you do, how you think and where it is that you're going. So I really thank you guys for listening to this video, like comment, share, please share other books that you found and other resources that have helped you on this journey in life. And let's uplift one in, one another as we are all seeking to live out our best lives. All right. Take care guys. Um, is it ready? I want to show both. Can I show both? I know this book is a great, great recommendation. Why are you feeling? I don't know. It's to use it, it to the best of our ability. But anyway, I have to do my hair like this one. I'm going to film it one more time. So varied. I like the red. Like the bam. Shazam. <laughs> that looks weird though. I like it forward. I do like it forward. Just keep trucking. Mm -hmm.